That's another dilemma. Or he went into a house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent beat him. So you got away from the lion, you got away from that dilemma. You got away from the bear, which these are these are uh, 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 metaphors for dilemmas, man. Hard times. You got away from one situation of death, you escaped another one. But then ultimately, is death is always waiting around the corner for you when you when you haven't came uh, uh, back to the Lord. And then that day of uh, of the Lord's return, death is gonna be all around you. It's basically what it's saying. It's gonna be one dilemma after another. And it says, shall not the day of the Lord be darkness, right? And then darkness is what? Obscurity. Because when, when you're in the dark, you can't see. It's scary when you, when, you, when you can't see where you're going. You gotta feel your way around. You don't know if you're gonna fall off a cliff or fall in a hole, you don't know what's there. It's fear when you're in darkness, man. And it says, shall not the day of the Lord Darkness is not light. Every very dark, and even very dark, and, and no brightness in it, man. And in that day, man, it's gonna be no way, no way, no escape for 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 uh, two thirds, man. On you and you other nations, man, it won't be no escape, man. Because when you have light, guess what? You can see where you're going. You can see what's around you. You're more comfortable. That's why you see so many people that come in their glory during the daytime. They can see around corners. They can see what's ahead of them and behind them. When it get dark, nighttime, one or two in the morning, you're not gonna see these people in the glory because that dark is fear, man. They don't know what awaits around the corner. That fear of death is in the streets when it's dark. That's why you don't see the glory being packed at night. You only see the demons come out at night. The, one, the ones who, who welcome that, that kind of uh, lifestyle, man. You don't see these happy-go-lucky people out here in the glory at night. They fear the darkness, man. And that day of the Lord is going to be darkness, so it's going to be plenty of fear upon you people, man. Like the scriptures say, you're going to be, yo, yo, you're going you to melt with fear, man. You're going to be weak, man, when that day comes. You know? Uh, back in uh, Isaiah, 13 and 6. How ye for the day of the Lord Yahweh is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty, man. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. You know? It says, Isaiah 10 and 25. For yet a very little while, and the any nation shall cease in my anger and thy destruction. This is gonna come, right? This goes into uh, the promise of deliverance. Because when, it, when this destruction coming, the scripture tell you in, uh, 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 it's Isaiah, uh, wait for the indignation for a moment in the chambers for the indignation to pass, man. So that goes into that. And it says, that was just a precept to it, but I'm going back. This is Isaiah 13 and 7. Therefore shall all hands be faint. Right? It said all hands shall be faint. And every man's heart shall melt. Right? So when that day of the Lord come, man, it's going to be paralyzing to a lot of people, man. You're going to be weak and destruction is going to be right here, man. Darkness, man. Great terror and fear. It says... And they shall be afraid. Pains and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that your belly. Right? And if you ever seen a woman have a baby, she's in a lot of pain, man. She's screaming, man. She wanna, she wanna, uh, she wanna kill everybody in the room. Because you're passing a life through your body, man. And they say right before the baby comes out the womb, a woman dies for like a second or two. And then she comes back. So that's excruciating pain, man. So you're gonna be as a woman having a baby, man. You know? And it says, they shall be amazed one at another, their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord Yahweh will come cruel, but with wrath and fierce anger. So the Lord gonna be furious, man. His 
fury, his fury is gonna touch down on this place, America. Man. It's gonna touch down, man. It says, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. So you people saying the Lord don't hate, he hates the sin and not the sinners, that's a cut to you. Cause he just said he's gonna destroy the sinners, man. You know? So, let me go back to Amos. Let me go back to Amos. Amos 9 and 8. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom. His eyes are upon the sinful kingdom, man. What's the sinful kingdom? America, man. America has passed all these uh, under-righteous decrees, man. They have uplifted, they have uplifted the uh, uh, philosophies of the old, old Egypt and them sodomite ways. They've uplifted every every philosophy of all these other ancient empires. And none of them are against the, uh, 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 with the Heavenly Father, man. So uh, the Lord, the eyes of the Lord, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh upon the sinful kingdom. His eyes are who? The angels, man. They're, they're coming uh, uh, constantly, taking notes, man. They're watching the people in this place, man. That's why that lady came by early talking about, ooh, I'm on TV. Yeah, you always on TV. Spiritually, the angels are always watching you. The Lord is always constantly watching you. So you on a spiritual TV every day. No matter how many times you walk in front of this camera or walk in front of Channel 7, you know, you always on TV, man. You always on the Lord's spiritual TV. You always being watched. Behold the eyes of the Lord Yahweh upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. And that's point blank. The sinful kingdom is America, man. The Lord saying, He's telling you that He's going to destroy it from off the face of the earth, man. He's going to make this place desolate. That's why He had, when you read in uh, Isaiah uh, 54 and 16, it tells you, you know, that He created the waste to destroy, man. They're, they have created these ICBM intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. They're going to shoot these missiles up on each other. But the Lord is going to have the defense system of America uh, broke through. And all these missiles are going to hit this place, man. You know? And it says, I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. It says, save it. I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord. Right? He said he's not going to utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Because within Jacob, within, within uh, Jacob, there is an elect, man. Within the house of Israel, the Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native American, the Lord has a remnant. Right? That hundred and forty, that one-third, 144,000, the elect. You know? Those are the ones who are going to uh, 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 not be destroyed in this place. America's going to be totally wiped out, man. It's going to be a desert, man, when this place is done, man. You know? It speaks about that in uh, Revelation, the 19th chapter, man. How the files are going to, uh, the files are going to, to feast up on the carcasses, man. Of the captains and, 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 and the, uh, uh, the captains and the kings, man. You know? It says, uh, Amos 9 and 8. Behold the eyes of the Lord Yahweh upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, save it. I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. It says, For lo, I will command, and I will sift the house of Israel from among all nations. Right? When you sift, when you have a sieve and you're sifting flour, what happens? When you put flour in a sieve and when you sift it, when you're sifting, the bad, the bad flour won't make it through the sifter. Only that good flour is going to come through, man. You know? And what's that, what's that seed, man? That seed, it says, it says that seed is what? Uh, it says, for lo, I will command and I will sift the house. Meaning you're going to shake up the house, right? You're going to shake it up. And, I, and among all nations, like corn is sifted in a seed. That seed is the word, man. This is this is how this is how the Lord is shaking up the house of Israel and, and sifting the, them from among all nations, man. This is how He's doing it. I'll read this scripture right here. Uh, Matthew 24. Matthew 24 and 14. And this 
gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then the end shall come. So it says this gospel, man, is going to be preached to all the world, right? This is how the Lord is sifted through the word being preached all through the world, man. And he's and, and, and he's shaking he's shaking the Israelites up, and the elect out of those Israelites are going to come back to the word, man. They're going to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. They're going to repent, right? And come back under that that banner, man. That Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. It says it's going to be preached from from here through the ends of the world, man. The brothers who when 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 uh, the elders came out. Uh, the apostles, man, they didn't they didn't hit every state and go out in every city and preach, man. They didn't do it like Paul them did. It went constantly, like Paul them had to go constantly to every place throughout the little region they was in, man. And, and then had to depend on other men to push the word out further, man. But in this time right now, we have the internet, man. This is the way that that the word is being pushed all over the world, man. When, the, when, the, when our apostles came and put that on, the, on out in 2007, man, it went all out over the world, man. And it filtered, it, it filtered the elect, man. And that word is still being pushed out by other elect brothers. That's how. That's why now you have brothers that are waking up in places like New Zealand, Australia, and Korea, certain parts of Africa, certain parts of Thailand, Russia. You know. Uh, I get that. Some. Some 19. Some 19 and 1. The heavens declare the glory of the Most High. Right? It says, And the firmament showeth its handiwork. It says, Day, uh, day after day, utter speech, and night unto night show up knowledge. So, in any different, any time of the day or night, you can go on the internet and, and, and find the truth, man. You know, you can go on the internet and find the truth. Day or night. And even if it's not in your language, all you got to do is go on there and filter it where the language uh, changes, man. You can change the language, you know. There is no speech nor language where the voice is not heard, see? There's no speech of the language that the voice is not heard. So just because you hear us speaking in English, the, the, uh, the tongue of our uh, slave owners and our uh, masters that we under subjection under in America, when, it, when it's filtered through the internet, somebody in Korea could switch it over and you'll see subtitles, man, in your language. That way you understand what's being said. You can understand the breakdown. Verse four, their line is going out through the earth, that line, right? That line right there, that's, that's talking about, uh, it's, a, it's called a measuring line, which is really satellites, man. It's, it's going out over a, uh, uh, when you have a satellite, that, that actual wave goes out through the atmosphere and it's pulled in by another satellite. And once it's pulled in by that satellite, it's filtered, right? And pushed out and uh, it's pushed out through an optical, op optical cable. It's pushed out to a line that goes to like a server room, which eventually goes to your house, man. It's all connected. Even if you have a, 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 a satellite on your house, the, 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 the wave goes out, man. It's brought, it's brought through a hard line, and, 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 it, and it speaks in, in a binary, man. Zeros and ones, man. You know, that's how, that's how it's filtered. That's that line, man. And it says, the line go, is gone out through all the earth, because everybody got internet, man. Everybody got internet. Even on these phones, when you get your phone, you go right on the, on the web, man. You know? That's that's the technology of the world today, man. Everybody has the internet.